Wait, well, you mean... No, I, I'm not going to be able to climb from from here. Oh wait, boss spur, I'm a new yeet. This is my tail, this is boss spur. Or maybe I can do this. Huh? Hey, I want you to climb up here. Very nice. Oh, you know what? Let's make a... Let's make a proper save here. Just in case. Geronimo! I'm dead. Hmm. How do I do a long jump? That's not gonna happen. Oh, you mean the one that launches me... Uh, that launches me to the front sometimes. Easier to do from the wall. We should just not be running. Sneaky. Be very, very quiet. We're stealing from the guards. Some mandibles. A hammer. A lot of torches. And some leather armor. It's nice that we have the leather armor, because it's a lot better than the farmer's armor. A lot of citizens' clothing, too, and sausages. Sausage. Very nice. Oh, hey, I saw a shooting star. Very nice. Now, we just need 700 experience points to level up. That's not too much. It makes them believe everything you hear. And also, we can get a lot of money by selling the stuff we just got. Oi, oh, Mateo. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Uh, what you selling? What are you selling? I can offer you everything you need to survive in the wild. Weapons, torches, provisions, even armor. I still have a special piece in stock. Double hardened armor of snapper leather, still unused. Interested? Nah, I have it. I I I just stole it from the uh, the city guard, so you don't have to worry. Show me your wares. Now he sells strong weapons, relatively. I could buy some arrows. That's uh, that's true. Let's buy his arrows. I could buy this healing potion. We don't really need it. We can keep these weapons for now. What accents is this? I know. Hey, I'm walking over here. I think this is supposed to be what? A New Yorker accent? Yeah, we have this leather armor. We don't need it. Citizen's clothing. Uh, so this is the thing I'm going to be wearing. Sucks that armor doesn't stack, but it does make sense. Weapons stack, though, which is nice. That's, well, it, it makes sense that armor doesn't stack, because you're not going to, you're not supposed to have a lot of it. Sell the citizen's clothing. We don't need it. We're just going to keep, we're just going to keep the leather.
Sounds like Danny DeVito, not Brommer. Brommer is in a world of its own. Who is Brommer? Where is he? Yeah, 25 weapon, 20 arrow protection, and 5 fire protection. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's actually talk to him and uh, ask him about the paladins. What do you know about paladins? Since these bastards have come to the city, I've had nothing but trouble. The last time I was headed for the upper end of town, the guards flat out stopped me and asked me what was my business there. And? Of course they let me in. I had my shop in the city when most of those pompous asses were still chasing pigs with wooden swords. And yesterday the, brothel the bastards owner. came and confiscated half of my goods. Oh, I don't really go to the brothel too often, because there's only one reason to go there, to buy the prostitute for one of the guards. The paladin seized your goods. Everything I had stored in the backyard. They simply posted a guard in front of the entrance to the yard. If I'm lucky, they won't take everything. At least they might leave the armor here. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? What? What are you going to do there? I've got an important message. Well, well. Have you tried getting past the guards? Oh yeah, we can get information about missing people. You're probably right. That's true. I don't know how important your message is, and it's none of my business. But even if you told them that a ship full of orcs just anchored in the harbor, they'd send you away. Because they have their orders. I just forget about... stuff. So, can you help me get into the upper quarter? It seems to be really important to you. The question is, how important is it to you? What are you getting at? I can help you. After all, I'm one of the most influential people here. But uh -huh. it'll cost you... How much? What are you asking for your help? 100 gold pieces. That's a lot. That's a whole damn lot. Take it easy. It isn't your gold I have in mind. But... In principle, it's my gold. Uh -huh. Britta, the carpenter's niece, hasn't paid what she owes me in ages. But the little brat is constantly running around in new clothes. That means she has the money. I'd like to beat it out of her. But Master Thorben, the carpenter, is also a very influential man. Get me the money and Selling I'll Selling golden you. cup. That's true. Okay, where's Greta? Where can I find this Gritta? Like I said, she's the carpenter's niece. His house is down the street, the last house on the right before the smithy. How exactly can you help me? Quite simple. I'll use my influence to see to it that one of the master craftsmen here takes you on as an apprentice. As such, you'll practically be a citizen of the city and can enter the upper quarter. Besides which, you'll earn something while you're at it. Okay. Where could I sign on as an apprentice then? Basically, with any master here on the main street. That would be Harrod the Smith, Bospa the Bowmaker, Thorben the Carpenter, or Constantino the Alchemist. One of them is bound to take you on. But it's important that the other masters agree. That's always been the custom here in Corinus. Okay. How do I get the approval of the other masters? You just have to convince them. Go and talk to them. But if more than one of them is against you, you don't stand a chance. So behave yourself. Uh, and you? Why don't you take me on as an apprentice? I would, but the other masters wouldn't agree. I just recently took on another apprentice. Is there another way to get into the upper quarter? Perhaps. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. One thing at a time. First fulfill your part of the deal and bring me the gold. Okay, we are gonna pay for Greta ourselves. Hello, Rupert. Hello, stranger. You must be hungry and thirsty. Perhaps I can interest you in my wares. I know. I need some money, and I'm looking for work. I've heard that Bosper has trouble with his suppliers. His shop is right over there. They say he pays pretty well. 
What do you have to offer? At the moment, I don't have much choice. The damned landowner doesn't deliver anymore. And what we get from the small farms isn't enough to meet the demands of the city. Show me your wares. Oh yes, I want all of these apples. Thank you. We just spent a hundred gold on apples, but that's fine. We can sell some of these. Oh, is he going to sleep? Patel, are you gonna sleep? Because if you're gonna sleep, I'm fine with it. Uh, damn it! What do you want, Rupert? You gonna go sleep? Mm, there's chests here and there. It's fine. I just need to find a place to sleep at. Um. Uh, hello, Torben. Ah, fresh face. You're not from Corinus, are you? This is not a good time for travelers. Bandits everywhere. No work, and now the farmers have risen up too. What winds have blown you here? Well, I'm looking for work. I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about carpentry? The only thing I can make out of wood is a fire. And what about locks? Well... They lock stuff. I'm sorry, but I can't use you if you know nothing about my trade. Uh-huh. And I have no money to pay for an apprentice. What if I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the other masters here? All right. I shall give you my approval. But you had better get yourself the blessing of the gods first. Say, are you a man of faith? Oh yes, I am most humble servant. Yes, a most humble servant. Master Thorben. Then go to Vatras, the priest of Adenos, and have him give you his blessing. He will tell you where you can find a priest of Inos. You should get his blessing, too. Once you have received the blessing of the gods, I shall vote for you. Okay. So, you know a lot about locks. What good is a fine chest without a fine lock? I make my own locks. That way, I can at least be sure I haven't built my chest that sturdy for nothing. A poorly made lock is easy to break. And there are plenty of thieves about in Corinus, especially lately. Okay. Can you teach me how to pick locks? Hmm, I don't know whether you can be trusted or not. For all I That's know, fair. you might be one of those layabouts who only come to town to empty the chests of honest people. I'm not going to teach you anything before I'm convinced that you're an honest fellow. Okay. Yeah, I want to talk about Greta. I've come about Greta. My niece? What's your business with her? This isn't about money, is it? She owes 100 gold pieces to the merchant Matteo. Tell me this isn't true. Ever since that little piece of work moved in with me, I've had nothing but trouble. She's in debt with practically every single merchant in town. I had to borrow 200 gold pieces from Lamar, the money lender, just to settle her debts. And now this. Go ahead, ask her. But I tell you this, she doesn't have a single gold piece. We shall see. Wait, where'd she go? Wasn't she sh wasn't she here just a second ago? Ah. Uh. What do you want, stranger? If you've come to beg, I must disappoint you. I am a poor widow. My name is Greta. Ever since my husband died, I have been running the household for my uncle Thorobin. Uh-huh. Why are you in debt? You still owe debt to Matteo. Matteo sent me. You still owe him some gold. He wants his money? What for? The goods he delivered were flawed, bad fabric, and bad seams. And did you look at the colors? Those are not the colors I ordered. That's fraud, that is. Let me tell you. Back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared uh -huh. to do that. Oh, my poor husband. But you do know that you could have just, uh... 
you could have just given the goods back if you were not satisfied, yeah? Such a good man he was. Handsome, hardworking, a gentleman of the old school. We had it all. Wealth, happiness. Sometimes we were even invited to high society events. The festivities, all the beautiful clothes and hairdos, uh -huh. fine dining and civilized conversations. Everything was better back then. No one would have dared to humiliate the heart of a poor widow with such ridiculous claims. Whatever shall I do? My pension is barely enough to make ends meet, and times are getting even rougher. One sees it everywhere. People must scrimp and save. It's been weeks since the last ship came to town. Uh -huh. My husband was the captain of a merchant ship. Actually, he even owned the ship. From his long journeys, he always brought me presents. Exquisite fabrics from the mainland. Precious spices from the southern countries. I mean, obviously she's lying, but let's listen to her. Most people haven't even heard of these things. But then, one day, I got the tidings that the Grita had sunk. That was the name of the ship. My husband called it that out of love for me. Uh -huh. I wept and prayed that my husband had survived the disaster. Every day I hoped to hear from him, but all my longing was in vain. May Innes have mercy on his soul. May he rest in peace. Since that time, I have been living under these modest circumstances. And now this soulless, callous Mateo is after the last bit of my life savings. Please have mercy on a poor woman. Back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Uh-huh, let's continue. Such a good man he was. Oh, Handsome, it just loops. hard work, sometimes the fine... It just loops. Where's the dough? Cut it out. Where's the gold? But I don't have the gold. I'm only a poor widow. Whatever, I'm gonna pay for you. I'm gonna pay the sum for you. You would do that for me? Oh, I knew you weren't a greedy bastard like that Mateo. No, I'm only yeah, doing this yeah, so Torben likes me. Come back once you've taken care of that. I want to show you my gratitude. Yeah, I bet you show your gratitude to all the men in the town. Mateo! I'm gonna pay for her. Oh, oh, wait. She went to sleep. Sticky, sticky. Though, I'm probably gonna need lockpicks for both of these chests. I know nothing about picking locks. Yeah, that's fine. I kinda wish sneaking was slightly faster though. Don't mind me, I'm just stealing here. I know nothing about picking locks. Now, it's kind of funny because as long as you don't go forward, these guys are not gonna wake up. So you can just you can just strafe in in here and no one's gonna be pissy or anything. You don't need sneak to sneak. Here's your 100 gold pieces. You wanna pay for her? <laughs> I'd have preferred it if you'd squeezed it out of her. Still, a hundred gold pieces is a hundred gold pieces. You've held up your part of the deal. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. Don't worry, I'll keep my part of the bargain. The other masters will only hear the best about you from me. Okay. I think this is at least... Wait. You would take the money from her and then tell Thorben and give the money back to him. I mean, she does deserve to, the money to be taken from her, because it's obviously her fault that Torben is not doing very well, because he's doing everything he can to pay her debts. Hey! It was very noble of you to pay for me. Damn it! I want to show you my what gratitude. Here's a bottle of wine which my husband, 
May Innos rest his soul. Brought back from the southern islands. Also, I'm going to spread the news around. At last, there's somebody in town whose virtue... Yeah, yeah, never mind. How about your approval, Master? Has Vach... Not yet, then I don't... Oh, yeah, yeah, uh... Can you teach me, me how to pick locks? You have paid Gritta's debt with Mateo. Yep. You seem to be a decent fellow. I shall teach you what you want to know. However, I cannot do it for free. I still have a mountain of debts, and I need the money. Totally fine. How much do you charge? 200 gold pieces. That's all my money, uh, but it's fine. Fine. Here are 200 gold pieces. This money will really help me. We can start as soon as you're ready. I'm ready. Teach me how to pick a lock. All you need is a lock pick. If you move it carefully left and right in the lock, you can unbolt the mechanism. But if you move it too much or too fast in the wrong direction, it will snap right off. The more adept you become, the fewer lock picks you are going to need. Uh-huh. That's all there is to it, really. Uh, sell me some lock picks, though. Can you sell me some lock picks? If I have any left. If we gave him Gris's money, he would have charged me only 100. So, w wait a second. So you're telling me that we could beat up Greta, or like force her to pay. She would give me 100 gold, and then we would give the money to, to him. So we would just get a discount. But what about Matteo then? Also, I need to sell stuff. Uh... Sell the mandibles, we're not going to need them. And sell some of the hammers, we're not going to need them. We already have four lockpicks. I'm going to I'm gonna open these bags, though. You forced her to pay you for threatening her to sell clothes. Oh, okay. Okay. And yeah, we can just do this, and they're not gonna care about me being inside here. Now, if we quick save and quick load, good. So we didn't even need snaking. That's fine. Okay, left, right, right, left. What's the matter? Take your paws off that. Oh. So we now paid 300 total, we're 100 behind. Okay. How did they see me do this, though? It's fine. 100 gold isn't that much. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. Constantino is asleep. He simply talks too much. Sneaky, sneaky. He simply talks too much. Simply talks too much. I won't tell her a thing from now on. That's his ring. We need this because that's for a quest. Oh, right, Constantino, we need to talk. What do you want? I'm not giving anything away. Now that's typical, isn't it? Yeah, I need to be an apprentice. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you going to sign up? Uh, with you. I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education, and in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. Go sign up with one of the other masters. Well... He simply talks too much. What about the other masters? I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You? 
have come to ask my approval? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, you can sign up with whoever you like. I'm still going to do his quest still. Because that's going to allow, give me some experience and also allow me to pick up some stuff. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? <sighs> I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. <sighs> Here. This is a list of the most important plants. Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. Mm -hmm. And what do you Show sell? Me pure life energy. And pure mana. Well, basically, these are like full, full health potions and full mana potions, aren't they? We don't need them. He does pay more. For, uh, he does pay more for for plants, doesn't he? Or, or is it only when he's yeah seventy five for a dragon root and thirty eight for a goblin berry? No, he doesn't pay full. It's fine. That's okay. Okay, now we want to steal from this guy. Oh, oh, please don't be upset. I'm just stealing from you. Hello, Brian. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh, just stealing some stuff. Sneaky, sneaky. So far, all of them have the same combination. Wait, you don't have a chest here? Oh, what's a shame. You've got no smart kid. Okay, we're fine here. We're fine here. Oh yeah, let's go to Mateo's house. <laughs> 